Today's episode is definitely not brought to you by Louis Vuitton Tom. And you thought these bags smelled bad from the outside. So, it's no secret that making a video properly entirely by yourself can be daunting, um, even if it's just for YouTube. In my epic more video, some mistakes were made. Um, that being said, I'm here to clarify and hopefully fix some of those mistakes. We'll find out. What I have planned for this video is to play through a select few of the preamp pedals in a way that you get a better idea of how to effectively use them. Honestly, I had a great way to demo them, but I just didn't think about it. The preamp pedals were the last scene I had to shoot, and I had hours of footage to go through, decide on, and cut into the final edit. My Softech is actually a great amp to demo them through, but it doesn't have a have an effects loop uh, to bypass its um, preamp stage. It worked fine for the purpose of the video, but I think that going into the low channel would have delivered better results for tone. Uh, a brilliant idea would have been to use the Baby Bomb 30 as a power amp into the Sovtex cabinet. Um, with the preamps just acting alone. That would have been perfect. I didn't think about this and was just pushing through to get the video out literally after a long week of filming, performing, and editing. Um, to be fair, there was really a lot of gear to go through in that 35-minute video, so this time around with it pared down, I feel like I can do it a bit more justice. All right, I picked three of the preamp pedals, one from each board, and we're going to go out from them uh, directly into my radar and then out into my audio interface so we get a totally direct sound uh, recording these guys this time. Um, I'll start with basically like a straight signal, uh, nothing added, and then use uh, some of the effects, like an effects loop, pedal type deal to give it what I would call more of a finished tone um, that I would use maybe to play over a song if I was doing a recording. Uh, again, most of the time I use this stuff, it's going to be in live application. So the three I chose was the um, Fried Main, also known as the US Gold 100, which emulates the uh, Friedman Brown Eye. Um, on this board, it's going to be the Black Knight, um, which is supposed to replicate or emulate the Angle Blackmore. And on this board, actually, I was really shocked when we I did the recording. Um, I'm going to go out of the Cali Mark IV. Uh, I'm I know it's based on some Mesa Boogie. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's really good. It really reminded me of some kind of like Foo Fighters sound. Um, and this guy here is our uh, more radar. Now, what's interesting is I actually did the firmware update for this guy, and now it gets a slightly better um, impulse response. It's supposedly. Uh, 23 a little more than 23 milliseconds longer so it is it is sounding better um yeah all right so the first part of the playing demo here um i'm gonna go through this board uh which has the friedman um the fried main which is based on the friedman brown eye 
and then I'm coming into my more here and you can see that I picked a cab I chose something that was like a 412 stack um, first there's gonna be very little processing actually there's no processing it's a very pure sound there's no EQ there's no effects there's no delay um, and then I will uh, through editing I will add on what I think would be a good color to it uh, in the next part of the demo <laughs> I think that if I had these during when I was recording the EP, um, I would have probably used them, uh, even if it was just to reamp some things that I'd already recorded. I, I think the fried main actually does capture very well um, what the real amp um, has to offer. So, yeah, all right. Yes. got the Black Knight and that's uh, the Engel Blackmore is what it's supposed to be based on. Again we're going into our more radar. Uh, I'm using a similar cab uh, as last time so let's see here. <laughs> Okay, so here we're going to go into the last one, which is the Cali Mark IV, and same setup, uh, no processing, and then I'll add some at the end. Um, so yeah, I was really surprised by this one when I did the big more um, pedal overview. Uh, let's check it out. <laughs> I could easily get lost in this. 
this pedal. Um, <laughs> just playing in it. Um, but yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to something a little bit special um, with the thing that I think is going to be replacing these guys. Now there's, it's not good news or bad news. Uh, I did the firmware update for it as well. And um, it, I didn't love it. Um, quite frankly, I didn't love it. Uh, that happens. I uh, just moved some of the presets a little bit and we'll, we'll get into that. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the um, software that you can use with uh, like a, your mobile device, tablet, phone, uh, whatnot. And we'll go from there. All right, so we're moving on to the preamp live. And what I'm showing you here is the software for it. It's pretty cool. So here you have your, say, your A bank, your B bank, and your C bank. And uh, A bank is red, B bank is green, C bank is yellow. And uh, you can see how well, I mean, the software works great. It, it goes through all the presets um, really well. And what's neat about this isn't just that you can have, you know, easily, oops, say no, you can easily adjust things just on the fly. Um, but it's how in depth you can do it. You know, do you want your boost pre or post? Do you want your, um, noise gate pre or post, you know, or I think technically you can even have it both. And you see like, while I'm, while I'm moving that it's, it's taking care of, it's, it's doing that as well. So you can really get in here and, uh, like change things up and it's not just um, the preamps it also has cabs so you can go in here um, set it up so that you could use it live um, with it the, the XLR out uh, if you've captured your amp or even with just the preamps that are in here uh, and have some really fantastic sound um, so because of that we're not going to need to use the uh, radar on this next bit that I'm going to do, which is I just created a short, like 10 second track that I'm going to use this over and use that to finish out the video. All right. Enjoy. All right, well, that's it. Um, hopefully you learned something and you have maybe a little bit better of an idea how you can use those preamp pedals uh, for a live shoot. I to your sheet. I know sleep. All night long. Christ, that is unsettling. While everyone's asleep. I see nothing goes wrong. So when I cried wolf that night The piggies did conspire Hid in the stables, darling Till someone set the fire And they watched him burn away What did he say? Hey there guys, before I actually truly let you go, I wanted to say thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the response that I got to the last video. Um, sincerely, it was great. All your questions, all your uh, likes, that was, that was wonderful. Um, I wanted to address two questions um, and I, I put them down here. Uh, one of them, was if I didn't love something on on my board, why was it why was it still there? And in regards to the sky verb, um, I actually had done a voiceover uh, explaining that that 
digital artifact and it, I actually do like um, for those live songs. It adds a depth, a dirt that I actually really enjoy. It's 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 kind of hard to replicate uh, otherwise, but that video was already pushing 40 minutes and I had to pare stuff down. So that's that's one of the reasons that explanation didn't didn't go in that video. Um, now the really important question I wanted to get to was about using the radar and the preamp or with the preamps or, or with a real amp. So this question, it's, it's important. Um, do not use a real tube amp or really any, any head, um, that sends a signal to a speaker unless it has some sort of line out. And, and even then, um, there might be better ways of, of capturing that sound. Now, the reason why I say do not do it is you actually have to have a um, something that's that's capturing that load, uh, that it's sending all that sound, especially on a tube amp. It's sending a, 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 that powered signal. You're powering those speakers, that cabinet. Um, so yeah, if it's something where, um, you know, you're curious, you want to, you want that real amp sound, but you're sick of having your cab. Um, there are, there are other ways. Um, and, you, but you definitely, you definitely need a load box, something, uh, like Sir makes them, um, Two Notes makes one, Rivera makes one. Uh, but yeah, you, you need to, otherwise you will be damaging that head. You will be damaging that amp. And if it's something where you're like, ah, I just really want to, capture great sound in the computer there are fantastic pieces of software now where you you almost can't tell the difference so all right uh keep up the great questions if there's more or if you need me to add on more to that conversation let me know and we'll go from there all right bye guys bye 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 bye